Yo, I am here once again for another NCAA edition of UAB football. Today, we're playing Clemson, yo. We're playing Clemson. So, what is up, chat? All the people that are here early or are just here to start the stream. It is a good day. Today is always a good day. Especially on a Friday night where I can stream two games and not have to worry about doing any sort of work the next day outside of my parents coming to visit tomorrow. Uh, that's about it. Uh, so let's do this game and then we're going to play the national freaking championship. Have you seen The Incredibles 2 yet? Dude, I have not. I like The Incredibles 1, though. That was great. So, if we get to see Incredibles 2, I'm all for that. So, this is our last game before we go to our bowl game. Uh, so, we have to impress, dress to impress. We got a lot of good recruits. Another big, another easy dub for UAB. Go Blazers. Go Blazers, man. Go Blazers. Man, I need to get a UAB hat or something, man. I freaking love... I've become a fan of this team. Like, through 10 years of this dynasty, I've legitimately became a fan of this team. It's just tragic that I don't... You know, one day, if I ever get the chance during football season, I'm going to go to one of their games. I'm just going to. It's just for the fact that I was the I'm the guy who did who's been doing the UAB dynasty for the longest time and it just it feels right just to go to a game. You know? I I, just, I feel like that should happen. I feel like that should happen. It has to happen someday. Cuz I feel I feel like I became a fan of this team. And I haven't been, I've been to Alabama once, but it was in Birmingham. It was like like literally across the border Alabama in West Alabama cuz I at the time lived in Mississippi. So, it wasn't too far away. It wasn't like too close to anywhere near Birmingham. But I would not ma mind taking the drive out there to go see a game. You know what I mean? It sounds like a good time, honestly. Sounds like a great time. Sounds like a great time to go to a UAB Blazers game. So, um, I think we're pretty much covered on recruiting. We're gonna, um, how many, are we catching up on this guy? No, but fear, fear will, we will, we will win. We'll win that fight. Um, we're gonna win that fight too. Gonna win that one. We might catch up on that one. I don't know about that one. We're a little bit too far behind on that one. I feel like. Um, but we're gonna give it a shot. Looks like that one's pretty well covered. That one we might make a catch up on. It's never ever too late. It's never too late. But man, if I got to go to a UAB game, that would be just that would be dope. I would do it. I would take I would take my car for a I would have to leave like three days in advance just to go watch the game or else catch like a really super cheap flight to uh, Birmingham. And because I would I would have to fly out of Chicago to Birmingham or something. That would be the case. That's the only logical case, because I would like if I wanted to leave and not take any PTO or anything like that off work or anything like that. I would have to like, I would have to leave on that Friday after work, take a flight down to Birmingham, catch the game, maybe spend the rest of the night in Birmingham, catch a flight back on Sunday, and then be back for work on Monday. <laughs> hey, what'd you do this weekend? Oh, I went to Alabama. What? Why did you take PTO for it? Uh, because I didn't want to. Because I was only there to watch a football game. Um, 
Damn, we need Alabama to lose big time, man. We need them to lose. I don't want to see Alabama in the national championship, especially since I faced them earlier in the year. But, wow, Minnesota's in the top 25. Jesus. That's something I hardly see. Especially at 6-5, and five, no less. Did they beat anybody? They've won five in a row, but they haven't. They beat number 14 Northwestern, but they haven't really beat anybody else. Those March for Our Lives people are in Chicago, but not south or west of the city. Yeah, it's coming to Iowa um, this weekend. I'm not a big fan of it. I don't really care. I mean, sure, like school shootings are still terrible, but I'm not going to waste my time protesting because I'd rather do this. Stream for my life. So, um, let's see who's in the top of the conference standings here. We got to see. We got to see. ACC Clemson looks like they're going to be in the ACC championship game against either Miami or North Carolina, depending on who wins this part of the game. Um, American Conference, Tulsa's got that advantage. Big 12. Uh, Kansas at six and four. That's still hilarious to me. What up, Spencer? Um, wow, for West Virginia, two and eight. Yikes. <sighs> Where are the fathers' lives matter, people? <laughs> Oh, man. I don't really care for David Hogg all that much. I think he's just an attention whore sometimes. Like like I said, school shootings are terrible. Don't get me wrong, but we don't need all that publicity because that's what, that's what starts it. Like, if you give something attention, it gives the bad people a motivation to do it again because they feel the need to get attention. Like, I feel like that's what like, people who are do... These, these mass shootings, that's what they're out for. They're out for attention. They're out for their fame and recognition. And I, I am not, like, that kind of guy to go out there and do that. Like, that just sounds like a terrible thing to, to do. Bring attention to a matter that, you know, doesn't need to be brought attention to. Um, Western Kentucky and Middle Tennessee State. Interesting. Mac... Ooh, Western, Central Michigan. Woo! They're looking sexy. They could win. Oh, well, they're probably going to win. What's good, Brody? We're about to take on Clemson, so get your seat belt on and uh, popcorn ready because we're going for a ride. And make sure you pee before you leave because I ain't stopping. UAB is working on getting a campus stadium built downtown. It may be small, but it's better than playing in the behemoth stadium that they play in. Oh, yeah, because they don't have the huge campus like Alabama does, or they don't have the fan base for it either. So if they get like a, I don't know, like a 10,000-person stadium, they'll be just fine. They don't need like, they don't need like a huge stadium. If they had the fan base for it, though, maybe. But they don't. That's the problem. Yeah, I did check the Mac. The Mac is full. Like, Central Michigan's got it on lockdown. There's no one's going to beat them. Not even Ohio. The best team in that conference is a barely a bowl eligible team. Cal versus Stanford again. Is it going to be Cal Stanford again? I thought they were in the same conference same side of the conference um yeah they're in the same side of the conference so if cal wins again which they probably will uh yeah they played boise it's gonna be cal versus arizona unless ucla wins against south carolina well unless ucla wins which did you, they actually lost to ucla so if Arizona State beats Arizona. Um, it'll be UCLA versus uh, Cal. What up, Scott? 
Alabama versus who's it gonna be? Alabama versus South Carolina. Uh, in the Sun Belt, you have UL Monroe undefeated in the conference. Man, Spencer, they don't need to get a room or nothing. Chill. Relax, my man. Relax. You're overthinking it. Don't overthink things. Aaron Hardy is going to do its thing in the national championship game in my dynasty of Michigan was facing Michigan State. That would be lame. That would be the lamest national championship game of all time. Low key. Actually, high key. High key that. High key. All orange. We are doing just dandy. Man, that's lame. They only got one hel one helmet. Just one helmet. Eh. Buffalo's going to win the MAC. That's hilarious. That's the best joke I've heard all day. The state of Michigan probably would be on fire. Oh, I know about Howard's Rock. It went from... Death Valley, California to Death Valley, South Carolina. Death Valley to Death Valley. But can they stop? Can they get breakthrough against my number one defense? Best defense in all of college football. Can they stop it? Or can they break through? Can they stop my rushing attack? Some of uniform, some of Clemson's uniforms look like they're promoted Fanta soft drinks. Don't you wanna wanna Fanta? Don't you wanna wanna Fanta? EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show. Don't you wanna wanna Fanta? Innovation that excites. Both of these teams take pride in their smash. Get your hands off my filthy rock. As a defensive player, you can spend all the time you want in the tape room. These two teams aren't trying to fool you. Don't you wanna wanna Fanta? Don't you wanna wanna Fanta? Don't you wanna wanna Fanta? To stop these rushing attacks, we've done all we can do here. Time to tee it up. Let's send it out to Brad and Kirk for the call. David and I will be with you at half. Kinnick Stadium should be Death Valley's Ohio. Or <laughs> oh yeah, that's the that's. Uh, believe it or not, Kinnick Stadium might be one of the toughest place, places to play in the Big Ten. Because it's very hard to beat Iowa in Iowa City. There are teams that have done it before, but a lot of teams' playoff chances do die there. Look, yeah, ex especially Ohio State um, last year. If they didn't lose by 31 at Iowa City, they would have been a playoff team. And Alabama would not be national champions. So now, you can blame my college team for the reason why Alabama won another national championship. Because fuck Alabama. It's tails. Oh, fuck. I'm done. I'm done. No. No. They're making a mistake. Yo, they're going to receive the kickoff. They're crazy. Okay. They're, they're going to receive the kickoff. Oh, my God. These guys are madmen. Oh, no. Oh, no. Did they run the option? Does this team run the option? Oh, my God. This team runs option. Oh, shit. Oh, God, look at that. Oh, 
Oh no! Oh no! I was never winning a national championship in football. Let's be real. Oh no! Oh no! Oh man! Here we go. This is gonna be fun, folks. Oh, good job! Oh God, yes! I had the guys right. The, see, I, I the only reason I collapsed on the running back is because I knew the guys in front of him. Oh man, the guys in, in front of the quarterback were gonna break down and get him. That's the reason why I knew that. I knew that was gonna happen. Oh man, I don't want to. I don't want to blitz too many guys. I don't want to blitz too many guys. I don't want to blitz too many guys. Let's try and. Uh, Are you serious? Are you serious? Oh my god, get out of here. That is a load of bullshit. Here we go. Here we go, man. You want to try and cheese me out of a game like this? That's how you win. That's how you fucking beat me is with cheese. That's some fucking bullshit. Jesus Christ. That is when you know this game just fucking hates you. Fuck off, game. Fuck. Calby Boise, that's no surprise there. All right, I'm I'm down for a shootout. I haven't had one of these in a while. All right, we'll play this game. We'll play. Kevin Owens, I don't know what the hell you were doing on that play, but that's got to go. You cannot do that. You cannot break down your coverage like that. You got to stay with him. Nice juke, first down. Fred, remember the year that this guy had last year? Looking at him yesterday in practice, he looks bigger, he looks stronger, he looks faster. Look out this year. He's going to have a better year this year than he even had last year. From their own 43 yard line, it's first down. Nice. Aaron Hardy's just looking like a god out here. He is a god, though. What am I talking about? He is a god. Two carries for 35 yards. You can't get much better than that. What's that? What's that? Oh, you think you could... Oh! Whoop! Oh my god, that is some cheese! <laughs> Jesus God, Kenny, stop it! That is some cheese! That needs to be stopped. <laughs> oh my god oh my god that was hilarious I just went loop de loop and pull and shoes are looking cool touchdown we'll play this game loop de loop and pull and shoes are looking cool. Here comes the kicker, the I made his. I tied his shoes right there, man. I'm tying shoes. I am tying some shoes out here. And shoes are looking cool. So, what did we learn? What did we learn about the last possession? That they got completely lucky. So, <clears throat> let's let us do the same thing in stopping the run, but this time not suck at defending the pass. I mean, did you see that play, the 73-yard touchdown they got in the third down play? I'm calling cheese on that. I'm calling cheese on that every time. That's some cheese. Oh, 
Oh, come on. Get him down. Oh, my God. Stop this nonsense. Stop this cheese. Stop the cheese, man. We ain't, we're not down for that. We're not playing this game. I'm not down for this bullshit cheese. Just not. No one is. I'm not down for it. Not down for it. Stop it. Stop it. Get some help. No. Get down. Not down for this cheese. It's second and ten. Ball on the forty seven yard line. Get get down. No, stop. I don't know how they get to break all these tackles. I don't know how they get to break all these tackles. This win this win streak is not over. It's by no means over. This is gonna be a shootout. I just scored. You saw how easily I scored on Clemson's defense. This streak's not ending. Especially with that kind of run game. Streak's not ending. Not with the cheese that I'm facing. Uh-uh. They're going to have to make adjustments. They're going to turn the ball over, too. Second down. Oh, come on. Break the damn tackles all the goddamn time. No, Clemson's not beating me. They got lucky two plays, uh, three plays with three pass plays. They've gotten lucky. They are getting lucky right now. Home field advantage is working out in their favor so far, but it will not last. Their defense is not going to last because their defense is an 85 overall and my offense is a 99. They can't stop my rushing attack. I would love to see them pull this off. That's the that's about as far as they're going to get. The second half is going to come around, and they're going to freaking choke. I'm getting good returns on the kickoffs. It's not happening. It's not going to happen. Clemson can't get away with this in the passing game every time either. They're getting extremely lucky. And look at that shoelace tie. Oh my god. Fuck off. Seriously. I hate that shit. It's like, it's like they're getting lucky. They're getting all the plays to go their way. It's ridiculous. I hate luck. It's so stupid. Oh yeah? Want to try that? Want to try that blitz? Boom. You're not catching Ben Smith, bro. You're not. Touchdown. Eat it, Clemson. Eat it. You can't stop me. I'm going to put like 400 yards on your stupid asses. Try me. Fucking try me. Ugh. That was gross. Fucking try me. Try me, Clemson. I will match you mat tit for tat. I will be there. You don't want to get in a shoot. You don't want to get in a shout out, uh, shootout with me. You just don't. You're not gonna win. You're not gonna win in the shootout. I don't care how good your team is on offense. I don't care how lucky you get. Your luck it will eventually end. That won't last either. Because that's Clemson's rock. It's it's literally Howard's rock. That is what that's their tradition. Oh, see, luck runs out. Luck fucking runs out. Let's go. You can't stop me. What did I fucking tell you? What did I fucking tell you, Clemson? It fucking ends right here. Let's go. Defensive touchdown. What did I tell you? Luck runs out. Don't try me. Don't try me, man. I will put up a hundred, no problem. You don't want this. 
and they can forget about returning this one. You don't want this, Clemson. I'm telling you. Don't want this. Well, let's see if the offense can make up. They don't learn. These fools don't learn. Brad, I know they turned the ball over the last time that they were out here, but it's important for these guys to remember. They still have to leave. How did I miss him? Even though the momentum right now might be facing them. How am I missing him? Really? Really? We're going to do this. We're going to do this, aren't we, Clemson? You don't want this. I'm telling you, 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 you better stop right there. You cannot get this lucky and expect to be... Oh, my God. Fuck. Stop the cheese. Stop the cheese for 300, Alex. What up, manatee? Stop the cheese, man. You're running left. Yeah. Come on. Keep cheering. No, third down, bro. Sit down. You don't want this, Clemson. You don't want to get in a shootout with me. I have a very prolific offense. May not be very good in the passing, or may not be very yardage like in the passing game but we can pass send all those outside rushers they're going to run the ball on third oh you don't want this Clemson you don't want it you don't want it what did I tell you See, now you're going to fall behind. This be an easy now it's over. You, you, you tried. Defense makes adjustments and they come out big. What's all with all these major teams converting to the option? Because that's the only way they think they can beat me. And then they realize they don't have a defense, so they're like, well, shit, I guess we got to try something else. We got to get a better defense. Nice blocking. Jeez, that was wonderful. These teams don't respect my passing game for for one either, so I get free reign on the passing game. Oh Jesus, how did he read that? You are a you are a sneaky. Don't do that. Don't you're not allowed to do that, bro. You're not allowed to do that. No, it's over. It's over for Clemson. They they screwed up. Even with all that blitzing right there, they I still got a seven yard gain. I'd like to see them stop me. They don't respect my passing game for anything. I don't see them giving me any respect in the passing game or the run game for that matter. Time to give the ball to 26. No respect for numbers. No respect for my offense. They don't respect my offense enough. That's the problem. Even with that, I should have lost four yards, and I only lost two. No respect. They're not going to respect my passing game. He's scrambling. They're not going to respect Kenny's speed either. Line. 
and this is the eighth play of the drive. Ooh, is that TJ Marshall out there? Is up by four. Ooh, Thornton. Boom. 19 yard gain. Throws that off his back foot. He had to on that one. Oh yeah. I I someone actually texted the description, what the fuck? <laughs> I didn't know that was a thing. I am pleasantly surprised. I am pleasantly surprised that someone actually looked at the description. Oh, jeez. If only I had the college football playoff implemented in this game. I heard you can, but it's like it's in, it's almost like a tedious task within itself to do that, you know. They line up for another third down, and they've had no problem converting their first two. Third and two. Boop. First and goal. Averaging eight yards a carry. They, they don't respect me. They don't respect my offense. Oh, what's this? Wesley can run too? Y'all didn't know that, did you? These guys didn't know Wesley could run. The Iowa Dynasty, that's throwback, bro. Oh, touchdown. Ben Smith again. Boom. Love it. Told you it was over. I told you. Y'all y'all didn't listen to me when I said, as soon as they kick the field goal, it's over. You know why? Because if they didn't, they're going to fall behind. And once they fall behind, it's over. They got to start passing the ball. And my defense will become more prepared for their time. Their oh, man. I'm telling you. I am telling you. They're going to start passing the balls here, too. They have no reason to run now. They're down by two scores. Although I'm still going to try. And, although I still think they're going to try to. They have no reason to, but they're going to do it anyway. Take him down. Oh, my God. I had him, I had him in the backfield. And he still picks up 30. Why? He's right. I'm right there making the play. I get tackled in the backfield for trying that shit. And yet he gets a 30-yard gain. Why does he get a free fucking pass? That makes no sense. No. Screw off. Why does he get it? Why does he get a pass? Why does he get a pass? Fucking lucky players. Well, let's just break every tackle known to man, even though my players have really good tackling attributes. And Wynn can't do man coverage because he's a safety. Lovely. They're four for four passing. And they're running the same pass plays literally every fucking time. First and ten. Ball on the 26 yard line. Lucky plays, man. Lucky plays. We're going to give up 24 in the first half to Clemson. This is amazing. Not really, though. I'm still going to drop 35 on him in the first half because they have no defense. But, like, dude, come the fuck on. No. Get down. My backfield. Get in my backfield. Ain't happening.
Nope, backfield. <sighs> Mike Stoops must be my defensive coordinator for the game. Yeah, he because honestly, like my my regular defensive coordinator must be out sick or something. Third and goal. And we're gonna call timeout. We're gonna stop them for a field goal. I'm happy with that. <laughs> I'll take a 35 to 20 lead. I don't care. And that makes it two touchdowns. It makes it easier for me. Knowing there is no margin for error to hold on to a spot in the top ten. This is a game we've been watching closely today. Back and forth they go to heavyweight slugging. I was down by a lot. 24-21. A 28-20 game here. Well, not a lot. Hubbard has his kick team lined up, and he is set to kick this one off. He sends this one deep. He's to the 20, and he's tackled at the 24. Right's ability at that quarterback spot. Kenny! We thought he was going to have a good game. All right, we got 44 seconds. Let's do it. Right now, he's having an effect on the entire They ain't going to stop me. So, I mean, they can try. They can obviously try, but they're not going to succeed. has a lot to do with the momentum that this team's been able to enjoy. And this is exactly what the coaching staff is counting on, is his ability to lead this team Oh my god, please. Oh my god. Stop it. That was a rocket throw. I should have thrown it earlier, honestly. Boom. Oh, now he's open. In stride. Oh my god. Nobody there to cover him. Oh, beautiful rocket pass. On the dot. In stride. 4-6. That's gorgeous. 35-20. They're they want a shootout. They're gonna get they're gonna get their money's worth. It, it, they've got exactly what they wanted. They wanted to get in a shootout with us. Well, uh, it's not really panning out for you so far now, is it? Is it? Last drive resulted in a field goal, and the offense will come back out looking to do one better. Scrambling. Nope. Nope. Here's a quick throw. Quit getting lucky. Turn around faster, dude. What are you fucking doing? I don't know what you're doing. I don't know what you're doing, man. You are sitting there with your head up your ass. Oh, get down. Kevin Owens needs to be benched, like, right now. He's not playing well. They're throwing it right at him because they're not scared of him. They're not scared of him. And we get the ball to start the second half, too, by the way. That's the beautiful part. We have a 15-point lead, and we get the ball. Let's go. Oh, come on, block, dude. All right, time to time to blow him out of the water now. It's over. It is over, folks. I'm telling you.
Gain of 17. It is over for Clemson. When Clemson had their 15 seconds of fame. Oh, how we were all misled. another benchmark he's got himself a 2,000 yard season folks I kept trying to tell you guys no upset when Clemson has a 20 point lead in the fourth quarter then we can talk till then I don't want to hear it I just don't till I see a team beat me by 20 points in the fourth quarter because 14 is not even enough anymore it's not Oh, that was ugly. They actually sent the blitz. All right. We'll punt. We'll play your game. We're actually not getting outgained. That's actually kind of surprising. Oh, get down. You're not even to the 20. Get down, son. Not great, but not bad either. As long as your main priorities are not turning well, he got to the 20. Establishing solid field position, but he, that's all as far as he got. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Oh, man. Oh, man. He tried to take that himself. What is he doing? Oh, man. I don't care if I'm only up by 15. Get him down. Don't let him cross the line, man. You can't let him get any sort of momentum, I swear. Like, the, the tiniest of momentum. Even if they don't have any, they will find ways to get yards. You will have them trapped in the backfield, and he'll get a 30-yard gain. That's how this game works. Nope. Get in my backfield. I've got you figured out. Chase, the return man. Look at that crappy blocking. What the hell? Ooh, screen pass? Devin Lemon. Dude, that's throwback right there. Throwback. Nice seven yard reception there. Dude, Devin Lemon is like year three or four or something. Dude, I don't work tomorrow. It's Friday. Ooh, Nebraska's starting to pull away from Iowa. Oh, come. Who's blocking? Seriously, third and 12 is inexcusable. No one was blocking. Of course not. <laughs> of course not, dude. Getting a hold of my offensive line, making sure these guys are on the same page, and they've got to take more pride in taking care of their quarterback than that play right there. Oh my God! Okay, defenses are showing up now in the second half. I, I guess I forgot the memo. I guess my offensive line just says fuck it. Whatever, man. This is ridiculous. I guess defenses want to show up now. Can I get a block in the back? No? I guess the game's just telling me to go fuck myself or something. I have no idea. <sighs> defenses are showing up here in the second half. I don't like it. I really, really don't. Well, I like it for my defense, but not theirs. I kind of want to blow them out of the water. Make sure that they know that not to mess with me. The 
can next time you can drop that because I'm pretty sure nine times out of ten that receiver drops that ball. Dude's an eight for nine for 197. This is ridiculous. I can't get anything against this team. I can't get a break. Nope. Get down. Uh-huh. Get down. We're not playing this game. We're not we're about to have a scoreless third. After a huge, huge scoring first half. We're about to go scoreless in the third. Dude! What are you Kevin Owens? You're so fucking stupid! What are you doing? You've given up all that! You're getting burned out here! This dude's not even good. You're getting burned by him. What are you doing? Kevin Owens. This 34. What are you doing? What are you doing, 34? You certainly aren't there today. You certainly, this is not your game right now. I understand that you have an off game, but this is insane. This is absolutely insane. You should not be playing this horribly. Oh, I wish I would have taken his head off. Oh, my God. I can't take a timeout in the second half, especially since they're about to be within one score again. Like, I can't. I, I got to preserve. Get down. I can't believe my defense is playing this horribly. I hate the option so much. It's so garbage. It's such a fucking cheese. Second and eight. Ball on the nine. This option is the most ridiculous freaking thing I've ever seen. How did he... Oh my god. They're going to kick the extra point. Lovely. So they got to get a two point conversion in order to tie the game up. This game is freaking cheesing me the last few times I've played it. Oh! What's that? Oh, I'm past the fifth. I'm getting near the 50. Oh, what's that? Okay, let's go. Let's go. Obviously, they've made some adjustments after the first half, and it's paid off for them. I think right now they're tuned in to what this offense is trying to do, and I think they're also just playing with a little bit more of a chip on their shoulder. Not a lot of success for this offense on their last trip out. UAB holds an eight-point advantage. Can we get a block? Can anybody block here today? I don't think anybody can block. Why does Aaron Hardy only have 66 yards? Oh, wait, because they, they are not respecting my passing game for one. I guess that's a fair assessment. Dude, I need blockers. I need fucking blockers right now. I need blockers. I'm not getting them. At all. No one's blocking. No one. I've gotten sat twice in this quarter. Will either team slow down in the final stanza? The Blazers can front by eight. Into the fourth quarter now. And we're back to the action. Apparently my offensive line disappeared. I need to put them in a cereal box or something. He's on the run. Or a milk carton. He's in trouble. And he's taken down. Around the 36 yard line. He got the first down and much more. I'll tell you what, this my defense belongs my my offensive line belongs on the back of a miss um, the missing milk carton thing. Oh my god. First down, ten yards to go. Ball on the thirty six yard line. He's scrambling. Touchdown. Caught open field. Touchdown, UAB. Don't respect my passing game, get burned in it. Wow, how about that? Get burned in the flames of my passing game. Not going to respect it? Well, that's that's your problem then, Clemson. 
Well, don't worry. I'll come out with a dub. Well, I mean, back then, uh, missing children would be back in the on the back of milk cartons that you'd buy at grocery stores. I have no idea why, but like that was a thing. The quarterback leads the offense back out onto the field as we get set to resume play. I need to play up. I need to play tight. Oh, I was so ready for that one too. Nice defensive pursuit right there by Kemp. From their own 23-yard line, it's second down. Take him down. He should not have gotten 12. This is ridiculous. He shouldn't have gotten 12. They're so scooched up to the line that the defense doesn't have time to prepare for it. That's the problem. Oh, get leveled. I don't care about that first down. You can have it, but get leveled. My point stands. Get fucked. From their own 36-yard line, it's first down. Uh uh, get down. Come on, defense. Let's go, defense. How? how I don't understand this game anymore, man. I'm done. I don't understand. How did you not get him? He just ran for a 65 fucking yard touchdown. I don't understand this game. I don't. So the offense will stay on the field and How, he was doing his little glitchy zigzag thing. I, if you saw that, you probably would have caught it too. No, you're not getting the two point conversion. Eat shit. Fuck off, Clemson. Seriously. You're not winning this game. There's no way you're I'm letting you. There's no way. Ah, you shit. Oh, you are shit. This game is broken. There's no way that this there's no way in hell he breaks for a 65-yard touchdown. I'm taking a dive there. I'm just gonna pull. I'm just gonna pour it on. They wanted them. They wanted this. I'm gonna give it to them. So it's second down now. They need about four yards to pick up the first. Quick strike to the receiver. They wanted it. They wanted it. I hate these teams. These teams can go die in a fire for all I care. They're not real teams. They're just. Desi they're perfectly designed to try and get me to get upset and pissed that this game is broken because it is nice blocking too uh, 21 nice blocking man love it you barely touched him congratulations you get a gold star gold fucking star Touchdown again. They think I'm playing. Oh, hell no, I'm not going for two. Are you stupid? You don't go for two. You kick the dang extra point and move on. I don't care if it's a three-score game. Yes, at that point, it would have been a three-score game. But I'd rather have them try and complete two two-point conversions, especially since they haven't gotten one all game long. What makes you think that I'm going to go for the field goal? Or what, make, what makes you think I'm going to go for two in that instance? Instead of getting one two-point conversion, they would have to get two. There's no way in hell you'd do that. 
say that, Brad, because the big hog mollies up front were able to create holes for the running game, and it helped them get the score. Let's see if get they sacked. Mm -mm. He's wrapped up for the sack. This is where they crumble. This is where they fall. This is where they fall. Right here. This is where they fall. Right here. Second and fifteen. This is where real offenses that rely heavily on the option, like this one, this is where they fall. Because the quarterback has nothing better to do but run the ball. He's ran 18 times, probably passed like 13. They're, they're not real quarterbacks. They're just occasional, I'll pass the ball sometimes type of quarterbacks. And I don't know how he got. I don't know how they get this lucky. I don't. I don't understand their luck. Thirteen times. I called it. They called. They've passed the ball thirteen times. He's ran the ball eighteen. They're not real quarterbacks. He's gonna try and scramble. Will you go down? This is ridiculous. What in the fuck is this? This is a, this isn't even a real football game. It's not, well, obviously, but, like, I love how EA tries to pull, like, persuade people that this is the most realistic Madden ever, but then this shit, like, this happens. And he's, how are they getting these plays? I want to know, man. I had perfect coverage on him. I can never get these plays. Ever. Ever, ever, ever. You couldn't, the game, I couldn't pay the game enough. And that's a touchdown for Clemson because somehow they get lucky. We're playing we're playing this game and I'm not happy about it. This is the most disappointing game I've ever played. And they're looking to get two points. Here. The defense is non-existent because the option play is literally broken as shit. And he didn't even get the two point conversion again because he stepped out of bounds. Like a plea. Auburn's beating Alabama. Good. I was about to say, boy, if they recover that onside kick, then you know this game is brust busted. They have 552 yards of offense, and yet they are still losing. <sighs> mm. That's Clemson for you. I just described Clemson in one action. There you have it. Oh, you're going to call timeout? Oh, that's that's tragic. You know? Couldn't just let me have my nice little setup victory. You know? Have to have it the hard way. Get out of here. Oh, look, another timeout being called. Lovely. Good. 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 Anything to not play Alabama in the national championship game. Oh, you're out of timeouts? Oh, that's tragic. Nothing I can do about that one. Don't know what to tell you, man. Looks like you just hand you got yourself handed an L. Tackle made around the one yard line. A couple, maybe three yards on that run. And if all carries nah. getting away from that tackle. I'm still number one. From the one yard line. They have yet to they have yet to prove otherwise why I'm number two. TJ Marshall. All day. He gets all the ladies, man. I'm telling you. He gets all the ladies. I'm the only undefeated team in the nation, too. Only undefeated team. There's no way I move down to number two. If if I do, it's a tragedy. It is an American tragedy. 
and I would take the game out of the out of the my Xbox and take it back to the video game store and say I want a refund. I'm gonna pour it on too. If I get the ball back with an interception or something, I'm just gonna keep scoring. Oh, would you look at that? Would you look at that? What? Oh, it's intercepted! Eat shit, boy! What now? What now? Oh, man. I've been waiting for that all game long. Oh, that's beautiful. Nice interception. Oh, man. Have I got a story to tell you. Oh, nice blocking, Thornton. That was gorgeous. That was gorgeous. Nice blocking. Yeah. Totally just didn't even touch him and just let him fly by. Oh, love it. Can I get blocking, please? You can't sustain a block for, like, longer than three seconds. Seriously? Eh, yeah, well. Can I kick a field goal? Yeah. I'm going to kick a field goal. Oh, no! It hit off the crossbar! That's another tragedy. How do I have that kind of strength in a kicker? Oh, wait. Oh, my God. The game just glitched out of a field goal. Did you see that? How the ball just kind of died? I'm not kidding when I say this game is glitched as, as shit. The ball literally went straight down. That's a good kick. Look at how that's supposed to cross the bar. I I don't get this game. What the fuck? The ball went literally straight down and said, "Nope." It's like there's a barrier on my goalpost or something. Nothing left here except to see the clock hit zero. Off the crossbar because the game is glitched. Oh, almost intercepted again. Wow, game. You couldn't just let me have a field goal. Tackle! Holy shit! You guys cannot tackle anybody! What? Are you guys like... This is... Oh my god, you guys need to go back to tackling school. Jesus Christ, this is... This is... This is... Oh, I have no words right now. I just don't. This is such a, an embarrassment. It's an embarrassment. I'm embarrassed for my defense right now. This shouldn't have happened. 39 points. Only one turnover. Luckily, the offense stepped up. Jesus. Fuck these off fuck these option offenses. Like seriously, God, fuck them in the Get them out of the game. That, that offense should be fucking banned from college sports. Period. It's such a garbage way of playing the game. It's not real. It's not a real it's not a real winning strategy. It's garbage, is what it is. It is straight up trash. That's not real college football. Taking that to the grave. I barely touched the ball. Barely. They dominated time of possession. I don't think my offense was out there for more than 10 minutes.
something. My offense, was, my defense was garbage, straight up. We had a quarterback that pat or ran as many more times than he passed. That is not a quarterback. That's not glorified running back. That's all he is. And I hate those quarterbacks. I hate them to the very end. Take a look at team stats. 722 to 613. They held the ball for 12 minutes and 40 seconds. They dominated time of possession by a clear minute. They had two they outgained me on offense. 600 to 431. Do I have the number one defense in the country anymore? Probably not. That's not a real offense, though. You, I'm, I'm claiming, I'm gonna claim that to the day I die. That's not a real offense. That is, that is pure cheese. I've made adjustments, and yet they still find ways to gain 30 yards. It's not real. It's not a real style. It's a cheese style, and it's, it's broken as shit. And I hope Alabama fucking lost. If they did, if they lost against Auburn, they're not going to the national championship game. I can guarantee it. No two lost teams should be in the national championship game. Not with this format. Not with this format, man. not a real offense oh my god Alabama lost Play a three loss team in the national championship. Boy, get the fuck out. Get out of here with that crap. Oh, wait. Wait, wait, wait. Do they got a. Oh, man. I might be playing Navy in the national championship. Oh, Jesus. And their defense is a lot better than mine. The reason that Notre Dame is ranked above Navy is because they beat Navy. Notre Dame beat Navy. But. We're going to see if we can get a few more recruits. Get off my board. You suck. You're a Juco. Have fun losing in Alabama, by the way, Mr. Walker. Ooh. Whoa, okay. Offensive lineman for days.
Hello. Can we be friends? Yeah, we're going to the national championship game next. It's going to be either Notre Dame or um, Navy. Oh, I did. I found an offensive lineman, all right. Got a couple of guys I need to chase down. We do have a few offensive linemen that committed already. So I feel comfortable with that. Quit unlocking the door. Fuck off. You don't want JUCOs. You don't want JUCOs on your team, man. They're garbage. They're all bad. So we're going to simulate the next week. Yeah, we're playing the national championship tonight. I don't have a conference championship because I'm the only independent in the league. Oh, that's some trash, though. Oh, my God. I'm so glad I don't have to face Alabama in the national championship. I'm so glad. So glad. Nice. We got a quarterback. Notre Dame or, or Navy plays UNLV. Notre Dame doesn't even go to the conference championship game. Nebraska versus Michigan State. Notre Dame's in the Big Ten. They're not even going to the Big Ten championship game. Alabama dropped out of the top ten. Texas State is 9-3 and three in the top 25. I'm actually impressed by the parody of, this, of the league so far. Heisman watch. Of course, Aaron Hardy is a champion. A three-loss team shouldn't be in the national championship. But yet, that's what it looks like it's going to be. It looks like we're going to get that. Navy's not even going to the national uh, to their conference championship game, but yet they're going to go to the national championship. How fair does that sound if you're Navy? So North Carolina versus Clemson, who you got? North Carolina or Clemson in the uh, ACC championship game? I'm taking Claire. I'm, I'm taking North Carolina. American champion belongs to Tulsa at ten and two, and Cincinnati right behind them at ten and two as well at six and two in the conference. UCF at eight and four. Uh, Houston and Connecticut are bowl eligible at six and six. Memphis just missed bowl eligibility by one game. Big Twelve champion belongs to Oklahoma. Kansas finished 6-6. Six and six. They are bowl eligible.
Texas, Texas Tech. Th thank God we're not facing Texas for the fourth straight year in the national championship game. Baylor finishes 7-4. and four. I don't know why they only played 11 games. That's weird. How'd they only play 11 games? Big 10 is going to be Michigan State, who's number 18 in the country, facing Nebraska. Nebraska. Number 8, Nebraska versus number 18, Michigan State. N Notre Dame didn't even win the, their side of the conference. They're not even going to the national. They're not even going to the Big Ten championship, but yet they're going to the national championship. That makes that makes logical sense. Indiana Rutgers are bowl eligible. Michigan missed out. They're five and seven. Ohio State went two and nine on the season. Again, I don't know. Understand how they only played eleven games, but whatever. Um. Wisconsin only played 11 games at five and five, or six and five, five and five in conference play, um, but they're still bowl eligible. Iowa bowl eligible, Illinois, Minnesota bowl, all, all bowl eligible, along with Northwestern and Nebraska. The Purdue one and 11. Conference USA East is Western Kentucky versus Southern Mississippi. And there's only a few bowl eligible teams like Mississippi or Middle Tennessee State, Florida International, and Marshall. Uh, the MAC East belongs to Ohio, and they'll be facing Central Michigan, Western Michigan six and five, Toledo six and six. Uh, bowl eligible teams there. Bowling Green at six and six. Mountain West, you have Navy. At eight and one, then they're going to be facing uh, UNLV, and then Fresno State, San Diego State, uh, Air Force, Army, and Wyoming are all bowl eligible. I don't know what's up with those eleven games. That's weird. Pac-12 North. It probably had something to do with my scheduling, and it messed up the other teams' schedules, so it opened up a game. I have no idea how that happened. Stanford. Missed out on the uh, Pac-12 championship, but California will be facing Arizona in the Pac-12 championship game. UCLA, Utah, USC, Arizona State are all bill eligible, along with Stanford, Washington, and Boise State. SEC East, uh, it's going to be South Carolina in the East. Missouri, Georgia, Tennessee, all bowl eligible. And in the SEC West is Alabama. And so it's going to be South Carolina versus Alabama in the SEC Championship game. LSU, Ole Miss, Texas A&M, Mississippi State, Auburn are all bowl eligible. And the Sun Belt was won by New Mexico State. With Texas State, top 25, just missing out on the Sun Belt Championship. Even though they had a better overall record. Yeah, I, I probably screwed over some teams of playing a full 12. Not going to lie there. That's what happens when you play a bunch of ranked teams, though, and right back to 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 back. Um, so, with that, with that further ado here, uh, scores and schedules here, conference championship week, I got, I got Western Kentucky beating Southern Miss, Alabama is going to beat South Carolina. Navy will beat UNLV. Um, California will beat Arizona. North Carolina over Clemson. Uh, Nebraska over Michigan State. And Central Michigan over Ohio. Those are my predictions. So we'll see if I end up being right. Going to advance to the bowl season. Are we going to be facing Navy or Notre Dame? Probably Notre Dame. Which sucks because they're a three-loss team. That's dumb. It's dumb. But you know what? That just means it's an easier game for me. And on my way to another national championship. 
being independent problems. This is true. This is why I need to be back in the SEC. Or just put myself back in Conference USA. That'll solve the problem. Aaron Hardy didn't win the Heisman. Bro. I have problems here. Can we talk about this? Legitimately, we need to talk about this. He had 2,200 yards. Okay, okay. The Heisman winner does. He's good. He's a good running back. He's a hell of a running back. But Aaron Hardy had better competition. Way better competition. And you're saying he didn't win the Heisman? That is a load of shit. We got robbed. Aaron Hardy didn't win the Heisman. And Notre Dame is in the national championship. And he's picking Notre Dame to win the national championship. Oh, we're going to have problems. Looks like Aaron Hardy has some work to do. Aaron Hardy's got some work to do. Oh, it's on. So, oh, Western Kentucky with the win. South Carolina beat Alabama. Stop it. Just stop it right there. Navy beats uh, UNLV. California beat Arizona. North Carolina beat Clemson. Nebraska beat Michigan State. And Ohio beat Central Michigan. So I got all but two right. Or, yeah, all but two. I missed the Ohio. I missed Central Michigan versus Ohio. And I missed South Carolina beating Alabama. Which, in my defense, in my own defense of picking Alabama, that sounded like a pretty easy pick. But you know what? South Carolina, that's one I was hoping I would be right. Or I would be wrong on. Because, you know. Screw Alabama. I got robbed, folks. Robbed. All right, let's take a look at the BCS poll. Uh, we got UAB, Notre Dame, Navy, Oklahoma, California. I feel like California deserves more of a shot at the national championship than Notre Dame. Come on. Navy deserves a chance. Oklahoma probably does too. California, because they won the Pac-12. And they had a really good season on top of it. California deserves a chance. My opinion. Probably not a popular one. If I had to choose who I got to play in the national championship game, it would have been California. Because they're a surprise team. No one expected California to be good. But look at that. They lost two games. Yes, they were to bad teams, but they beat teams like Stanford. They beat teams like Washington. They've beaten good teams like UCLA. This team deserves a chance at the national championship game. I'll get to the All-Americans here in a minute. Uh, Virginia, they were number two at one point. See, the Virginia game felt like more of a national championship game than... than um, Notre Dame's going to feel like Nebraska, they had a pretty decent season, but they're, they're definitely not a qualifying team. Um, North Carolina, definitely a team that could deserve a national championship spot. South Carolina, definitely not. Um, Air Force, LSU 13th and a four loss team. Oh God, that makes me barf. Um, Alabama just choked away their season. I mean, yes, they started off 0-1 to start their season, but they had a legitimate shot to go to the national championship, and they lose two straight. Oklahoma deserves a chance, too, I feel like, too. Uh, you're right. You know, that's another good team that deserves another uh, could deserve a shot. Cincinnati didn't go to the conference championship game, so I don't agree, I don't think they should. Texas A&M's a good team. That's Central Michigan, if they would have won against Ohio, I feel like they would have deserved a shot. 
because they're a one. Lo- they would have been the only one loss team, uh, the only team with a loss with a, a good record. You know, if they would have won their conference championship game, I feel like they deserve the shot too. Um, Ole Miss, good team. Penn State, why are they ranked? Texas State, surprise team. Auburn, why are they ranked? Kansas State, that's a good one. Eight and four, Washington. So out of the teams, if 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 Central Michigan beats Ohio. I feel like Central Michigan deserves a shot. My opinion. Notre Dame should not have should not be in the top ten. Who did they lose to? Let's take a look. They lost to Nebraska. Good team. They lost to Northwestern. Good team. They lost to Stanford. Good team. Both teams that they lost to, or two teams that they lost to, were in the top ten. They lost to Northwestern at home. That does not deserve a national championship, in my opinion. And especially that since they barely escaped Michigan in overtime, and they barely beat Maryland at home, and they barely escaped Rutgers at Rutgers. That was a good game. They should have. They did. They beat Ohio State handily. They beat Indiana handily. Penn State shouldn't even be ranked, but they beat them anyway. Uh, they beat Iowa pretty badly. Um, put Central Michigan in the Big Ten. Nah, that's fine. They're not going to be good next year anyway, so what's the point? Uh, Minnesota's a good, uh, a bowl eligible team, nonetheless. That right there is ridiculous. Navy deserves a shot. Navy, Oklahoma, California, all deserve chances over Notre Dame. I'm that's that's upsetting. If you're the committee, you should be ashamed of yourself. All Americans. How many All Americans we get? Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight All American. First team All Americans. Second team All Americans. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. So thirteen all Amer- first and second team all Americans. First team all f- or and all all freshman team goes to one, two, three, four, five, six, six all team freshmen. And I, there's not going to be a first team all independents because it's literally all UAB players. Oh man, first team all independent. Oh my god. Who would have thought? Who would have thought that one? I don't care if they're a five star team. They're not getting in the Big Ten because they're a 79 overall. What makes what 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 part of that makes sense to you? Putting a 79 overall team in the Big Ten with that kind of defense, they would get demolished in the Big Ten. Demolished. I don't have a vendetta against Central Michigan. They lost two close games by three points total. Three or six points total. Ah. Uh, I'm not really worried about the play. See, if it was the playoff, if this was the playoff, this would, it would look like this. I would be facing Oklahoma in the first round. It'd be Navy versus Notre Dame round two because they played each other in the regular season once and in Notre Dame won. But that that would be your matchup right there. And that, I feel like that'd be a good contest. That'd be a really good playoff, actually. So... Uh, let's take a look at season stats while we're at it. Aaron Hardy, 2,000 yards rushing. He probably had more touchdowns. Probably. Let's see. We had a total of 20 touchdown passes, four interceptions. Um, we passed for a total of 142.2 yards per game on about 73.5% completion, 14 yards per game, or per pass. Nine sacks, a total of nine times throughout the season. Aaron Hardy had 19 touchdowns. 
TJ Marshall had 15. McAfee had 7. Wright had 9. Um, we didn't have any big time receivers, although we did have a few receivers that, you know, if we passed more, they could have probably gotten 1,000 yards. And the chances of them making another NCAA game, probably around 10%. Probably even less than that. Inter your, your sack leader, Frank Dubzinski, Keenan Brown right behind him. Um, we got a couple of them with up there near double digits. Um, interception leaders goes to Ike Franklin with five, Scott Frazier with four, Jermaine Harris three, Brandon Goodman two, Henry Harrington two, David Wright two, Kevin Owens two. Kevin Owens played like shit. I don't know why they have him listed as on fire. Defensive touchdowns. Scott Frazier, two defensive touchdowns. Uh, not much of one, but we'll see. Jermaine Harris, two defensive touchdowns. Brandon Goodman, one. And Larry, Larry Wynn, one. Kicking stats, even though that's going to take forever to load. Nine for 11 on field goals. We missed one from 56. I felt like I got cheated out of. Um, I'm one for three on 50 yard kicks or 50 plus yards. That makes, that makes sense. Three kickoff returns for touchdowns. Great Iron Champs isn't in even a real college game. It's 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 supposed to give the college experience without the real college teams. Nothing against that. I feel like it's creative, and I hope the game turns out well. But it's not it's not like it's the real deal. It's not like you're having Memphis face Iowa State or something. Who's a who's the best who has the longest kick this year in college? Covington from 56. I was 29th in, with 50. Aaron Hardy's career stats has one more game left in him. God, these two are so close to each other. It's insane with some of their stats. 46 total touchdowns. Jermaine McAfee is going to have the best senior year ever out of anybody I know. I'm going to miss him. Oh, my God. This is actually going to sadden me. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have so many players gone. It's going to make me sad. This was... Legitimately one of the more fun teams that I've had. But anyway, I'm going to be back in like 10 minutes. I'm going to go use the bathroom because I got to pee. Um, going to change the thumbnail, of course, and the title. And we're going to play ourselves the national freaking championship. And if since for, you know, it's Friday night, who cares? We might just do the off season too. We might as well, right? So I'll be back in like five minutes or ten minutes, and I'm going to do my thing. I'll be right back, changing some stuff up, and I'll see you there.